Hey guys, it's Brenna, the CEO and founder of The Mortgage Shop, coming to you again with some valuable information. If you like our videos, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. Give them a little tap tap a room. But today I am coming to you about, about a two to one buy down. So a two to one buy down right now with us is on a primary residence loan and a second home loan. So a second home is usually 10% down at least. And then you have to occupy it for at least 14 days out of the year. doesn't have to be consecutive days, just 14 days out of the year. Your primary intent has to be the, to vacation there first. Now, with a two-to-one buy-down, what does that mean? Sellers have to pay this buy-down for you. A two-to-one buy-down means your interest rate for the first year of your mortgage will be 2% lower than what today's interest rate is. And then for the second year, it's going to be 1% lower than what today's interest rate is. So let's say I've quoted a borrower with an 800 credit score with a $700,000 purchase price with 10% down. Debt to income ratio is probably around, it's just average 30%. So let's say we're quoting that type of borrower. 7.45 interest rate. Then that means the first year, your interest rate would be 5.45%. The second year, it would be 6.45%. And then years three through 30, if you do not refinance, would be 7.45% or what today's interest rate is. So keep that in mind. First year, 2% lower, 5.45. Second year, 1% lower, 6.45. Today's interest rate, years three through 30, 7.45%. How this works is the seller must pay these fees for your buy down. And let me share my screen for you to show you what the buy down would cost. Keep in mind, I have I shared a photo on our Facebook pages earlier, and I can go over it with you now. Sellers can pay up to 6% on a second home loan. So 6% of that purchase price. Again, the purchase price, guys, is $700,000. You put 10% down, that makes your loan amount $630,000. For some reason right here, it rounds down or rounds up for the interest rate, but today's interest rate, let's say, is 7.45%. So it's qualifying you still at that payment of 7.45%. However, it shows down here that your first year will be 5.45%. Your second year will be 6.45%. And then if you do not refinance, again, year 3 through 30, 7.45%. What the sellers would have to pay is this number right here, 14,980 which is a lot less than that 6% that they could pay. So you can ask for that full 6% if you wanted to, or you can just ask for enough for them to buy down that rate for you with a two to one buy down. So what happens when they buy it down, they pay this price, it's the interest that you would have saved or accrued that they're paying for is showing right here in a yearly subsidy. Think of a yearly subsidy as like a savings account or a piggy bank. So if you refinance within the first one to two years, this actually, what the sellers are paying is actually going towards the payoff of that loan. So it's not just going up in the air and then it's done. This is actually going into a subsidy account and this will be taken off the balance of your loan when you refinance. Now people say, you can't guarantee that the interest rates are gonna go down, no. But if we look at the last 30 years, these investors are offering this. They are putting it into a subsidy account. So what does that tell us? Everybody's pretty confident that these interest rates are going to go down. Are they gonna go down drastically? At first, no, they will go down slowly. However, you have the option to refinance out. And guess what? If for some reason the interest rates skyrocket, you'd still be in this interest rate of 7.45 from years three through 30. It's not an adjustable rate mortgage. It can't go up to 10 to 12% or anything like that. It's literally just to help you buy down that interest rate for the first two years while these interest rates are currently high because of the Fed increasing the interest rates. So keep that in mind. Some people may think that the interest rate's gonna go up to 10 to 12%. You can think that if you want, you don't have to do this. This is just the option for people that want to have that lower interest rate and save that money for the first one through two years. So again, 
Sellers in this instance, it's a $700,000 purchase price. They Sellers can pay up to 6% of that, which would be $42,000. This is just a drop in the bucket to what they could offer you. So when we work with you and you want to do this option, we go to you and your realtor and say, hey, we want to do a two to one buy down. Should we up the purchase price a little bit to off ask for seller paid closing costs? Um, would that work? And that way, in the end, it is kind of like you're financing those closing costs in. But on the back end, when you refinance, you will see this come off of you, the payoff of your loan. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much what a two to one buy down is. If you have any questions, please email me personally at info at mortgageshop.co.co. So if you have any questions on that, please email me. And I look forward to continue making some of these videos for you so you can be more educated as a buyer and so we can help you build generational wealth. Thanks, guys.